Good morning and welcome to the Kansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Just a couple of announcements before we get started. I want to draw your attention to the Q&A button on the bottom of your screen. This is where you can address questions to any of our presenters and you can do so at any time. It's not limited to uh, a presenter's own presentation. So ask questions about the college application process, specific questions about a college campus, really anything related to college admission is fair game here. Your camera and your microphone are turned off so the panelists won't be able to see or hear you. Um, also, this is just one of many different sessions that are happening. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions on the same website where you registered for this one. Also, the presentation is being recorded and will be available um, in about a week on that same website. Again, strivescan.com slash Kansas. I'd like to introduce now our first presenter um, from the University of Missouri. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aaron Cook, and I'm the Kansas City Regional Rep for Mizzou Admissions of the University of Missouri. Uh, that means I actually live in the Kansas City area, which is uh, two hours west of Columbia, Missouri, our college town, and I get to service the uh, Kansas City metro area and the entire state of Kansas. So thanks for joining us this morning. On our campus, we have more than 30,000 students uh, this fall, or I guess last fall, and they range from undergraduate all the way up, obviously through PhD, MD, uh, JD, all the advanced degrees, uh, 23,000 undergraduate students. Our students do come from every county in the state of Missouri, plus all 50 states, and then 128 countries to be specific. We are one of 18 institutions around the entire country that actually get to service our state in a very unique way. We are both a land grant and an AAU institution. So for you guys familiar with other states, um, you would typically have a university of, that is going to be the AAU flagship institution, and then typically a blank state university that could be a land grant as well. Um, so those kind of go around the country, uh, again, side by side. In the state of Missouri, we actually service as both. Yes, there's a Missouri State University in Springfield, but that is by name alone. We do get to be the land grant. So that means on our campus, you're going to find disciplines like journalism, business, medicine, law, um, to agriculture, engineering, and veterinary medicine all on one campus. Our students, again, uh, come from all 50 states. You can see really kind of the bread and butter are the gold states. 65% of our students come from the state of Missouri. Obviously, those states that uh, touch Missouri uh, tend to send us more students. Um, I guess local interest, you have Missouri number one, Illinois, Texas, and then Kansas number four as far as the population goes, who comes to Mizzou. Uh, we are a, a quintessential college town, 120,000 people uh, typically. Um, you can see an aerial of our downtown. It's literally next to our campus. So you walk through the Archway School of Journalism and you're in downtown uh, for your fun experience outside of the, the campus experience as well. Uh, very nature loving town. A couple of really big festivals come to our town every year that our students really get uh, excited about as well. But uh, again, downtown's all locally owned. So you're in downtown for Shakespeare's Pizza or Butch's Burgers or Sparky's Ice Cream as well. So you're gonna find a lot of students hanging out downtown when they're not on campus. When students apply to Mizzou, they're applying to more than 300 degree programs uh, for your guys' interest. The, the top five most popular as far as what students pick on campus are health science, business, journalism, engineering, and nursing. Doesn't mean they're the only five or only good five. It's just the five most popular we see students pick when they're incoming freshmen. Uh, we have more than 600 clubs and organizations to pick from. That's everything from fraternities and sororities to intramural sports to religious, political, uh, social organizations. 20 Division I sports in the SEC. You can have an all sports pass that guarantees you a seat at all 20 sports if you wish, along with 40 club sports and 80 numeral sports as well. One thing we definitely pride ourselves on our campus is what we call the Missouri Method or Hands on Learning. Some examples here education, engineering, digital storytelling, that's animation and game design, and then broadcast journalism. Our broadcast journalism students actually broadcast six and a half hours of live television every day to 16 mid Missouri counties through a Mizzou-owned KOMU, which is an NBC affiliate. So they're literally the only broadcast journalism students in the country that walk away from Kansas, uh, campus with a digital file. When it comes to making it affordable uh, for our out-of-state students, we uh, have three silos of scholarships. We have automatic scholarships you get awarded at the time of application or whenever you meet that criteria. We do accept applications either with test score or test optional uh, for next year as well. Um, we have a December 1st party deadline for our competitive and our general scholarships, and so those are stackable on top of the automatic scholarships. 
We're also very generous with uh, allowing students that are out of state students to become temporary Missouri residents uh, after 12 months of their freshman year. So that means every out of state student can actually pay in state instead of out of state for their sophomore, junior, senior year when they do get to Mizzou. We are offering in person uh, tours at this time. So you would come for a 45 minute overview and then a 75 minute campus tour with a current student. And you'll go through the rec center, a res hall, dining hall, all those experiences. And you can see some of the other things we have available virtually for our students as well. So we definitely want you to take advantage of those opportunities. Finally, here's my contact info. That is my cell phone number. You're more than welcome to call me or text me after today. If you do have questions about Mizzou, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, that is my direct email address. And then if you would like, you're more than welcome to follow me on my professional Twitter account. I promise I will not follow you back. I know that's your personal space, uh, but if you want to know about Mizzou, higher ed, or the college search process, feel free to follow me back. Thank you so much, Aaron. Our next presenters are from Pittsburgh State University. Good morning, my name is Brainy Brenner and I'm with Pittsburgh State University. Dana's on the chat feeding you information about links that we have pertinent to our presentation. Pittsburgh State University is located in the southeast corner of the state, almost to the Missouri line. Um, from the Wichita metro area, it is about a two and a half hour commute. Uh, or from the Kansas City Metro hour, it is about two hours from there. Starting in 2021, automatic admission or qualified admission is a 2.25 GPA on a 4.0 scale or a composite ACT score of 21 or higher. If you're looking to be a transfer student later on, a 2.0 GPA with 24 credit hours minimum after high school. Uh, we do break up our university into four schools, uh, that being the College of Arts and Sciences, College of Business, College of Education, and College of Technology. Some of our highlighted programs uh, within each department, obviously biology and chemistry, anything that goes pre-health science or pre-med um, is available in there, as well as our nursing programs, physics, math, and our social sciences are located in that department as well. Business are your standard business majors. And then our College of Education, we have health, human performance, and recreation, as well as our psychology, counseling, and teaching and leadership. Within our College of Technology, it does house a number of different programs. Our College of Technology is housed in the Kansas Technology Center, which is an almost 300,000 square foot building of innovation, home to our automotive technology program, construction engineering program, graphics imaging technology, and plastics engineering technology as well. We are one of four PET programs in the US and the only one west of the Mississippi. So getting right down to business, talking about how much it costs to attend Pitt State. We are one of the few flat rate tuition schools left in the nation. So whether you take 10 credit hours a semester or 21, you're paying the same price. So a lot of our students are able to double major, graduate early, or take classes for fun. Yes, I said classes for fun. Um, we do recommend that students budget about $500 a semester for books. However, with the popularity of textbook rentals, that is a little bit high. Most of our students report about two to 250 a semester. All incoming freshmen are required to live in one of our dorms if they reside more than 50 miles away from campus and purchase a meal plan. So a single occupancy dorm room will run you about $45.98 a semester. Again, that's with an unlimited meal plan. Um, so total cost, we're looking at about seventeen dollars to $18,000 for that freshman year. Um, always remind students that freshman year is your most expensive because most schools do have that policy about housing. So there are a number of ways to offset your expense for attending Pitt State, and that's going to be through scholarships offered within the university and also completing your FAFSA. That's your free application for federal student aid. All right, so if you are an exceptional student with at least a 21 ACT and a 3.5 GPA, um, that ACT score will be super scored. It does require a separate, separate application and you must be admitted into the university prior to applying. Uh, the consideration deadline for that program is January 15th, but I highly encourage those exceptional students to apply for that. They take um, 30 students a year and it's an annual scholarship of up to $9,500. Um, everything else, our Academic Achievement Award, Valedictorian Diversity Scholarship, as well as many of the other campus-wide and departmental scholarships have a consideration deadline of February 1st. So that means that we need a student transcript on file as well as your application and application fee of pertinent. So when I talked about campus living, you'll no notice that the yellow dorms within the um, infographic 
they are our traditional dorm style. They are single occupancy or double occupancy um, rooms with a shared bathroom um, within each hall of each wing. Um, the red ones are more apartment style or suite style apartment or dormitories, residence halls, however you want to refer to that. Um, the ones in the upper left hand corner are four people to a suite and the ones in the lower right hand corner in the red, of course, are, I believe, um, four people, but it's two people to each bathroom. So there's a bathroom in each room. All right, we do have a number of student services available at Pitt State because we want to uh, service our students and make sure that they're getting the best experiences possible. Pitt Cares is our orientation and enrollment program. Gorilla Gateway is a orientation class on campus during the semester, which is hosted by peers. That's your Pitt Encouragement Educational Resource Specialist. That's basically your student peers who have gone through the program and are your student advocate within that class. We have academic success workshops, our writing center and tutoring facility, disability services and accommodations, as well as career services and a career closet. Um, so that if you have an interview, you can go get an outfit for that job interview and look real schnazzy. All right, athletics, we are an MIAA school competing in the NCAA Division II. We have 10 programs. If you are interested in playing collegiate sports, um, visit pittstategorillas.com for more information. As far as campus involvement goes, we have over 150 different student-led clubs, organizations, and activities for you to be part of. Everything from cultural clubs, uh, philanthropic clubs, Greek life, student government association, as well as majors and cultural clubs as well. If you're ready to visit Pitt State and see what it's all about, I do encourage you to go to admission.pittstate.edu slash visit campus. We are doing on-campus visits, small groups, um, so we limit those to 15. And then um, hopefully in the fall, we'll be able to do our big events on campus as well in person. Um, application process, we are currently waiving the application fee of $30. It does require a self-reported GPA and ACT score in order to qualify. And my contact information is right there. Again, I'm Brandy Brenner, Central Western Kansas rep for Pitt State, BY Brenner at pittstate.edu or contact Dana if you're in the KC metro area. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you so much. And our next presenter is from Missouri Southern University. Good morning. My name is Jennifer Shaw. I'm an admissions counselor with Missouri Southern State University. I'm responsible for recruiting the local area in Joplin as well as Kansas. So, um, I can get this to work. There we go. So Missouri Southern is located in Joplin, Missouri on the corner of basically on the border of Kansas, Oklahoma and Arkansas. Currently, we have about 5,600 students enrolled and our class sizes are pretty small. We have over 70 active student organizations, 15 division two NCAA teams, students from 48 countries and 42 states. And we have an international mission with a large study abroad program. Missouri Southern currently offers our students over 140 program options taught by professors who bring in the classroom experience, as well as many of them who bring in the real world experience, which combined gives the student a unique opportunity to have the blend of real world experience with classroom experience, which helps them become successful in the classroom and successful in life as well. The FAFSA application is now open. So if you are considering uh, filing for your financial aid, if you have not done that already, you will want to get that done as soon as possible. A bonus of attending Missouri Southern as a Kansas resident is that we currently offer Lion Pride tuition, which is basically automatic in-state tuition awards to our out-of-state students residing in neighboring uh, states, including Kansas. In the fall of 2021, Missouri Southern is rolling out a new automatic academic scholarship program. We call this the Moso Merit Program and as you can see, there are three levels of, of merit awards that you can earn based on your ACT score or your SAT score and your GPA. These will be automatically awarded uh, based off information off your high school transcript and then those test scores. Missouri Southern uh, has a wide variety of dorm rooms. We will be opening a brand new uh, set of dorms in the fall of 2021 called Lion Village. Lion Village will house about 301 new beds uh, with a variety of different style rooms. 
So if you'd like the opportunity to sleep in a brand new bed that nobody's ever slept in, this is your chance to do so. Uh, we are still currently offering campus tours on a daily basis. You can see those on the screen. And we will also be offering sessions, special sessions to come this summer in the morning and the afternoon on Saturdays. And you can see the dates there on the screen. For more information about tours, visit mssu.edu backslash campus tours uh, or go to tours at mssu.edu. And we also are still offering virtual campus tours as well. So to apply and get accepted at Missouri Southern, it's fairly simple. You will go to our webpage at mssu.edu, select the admit tab. You'll go into a student portal, create your account, and you'll run through that process. When you get to the fee section, if you will put that you attended the fair today, just put Kansas Fair, we will waive the $30 application fee for you. So that will save you some money as well. We will need a copy of your high school transcripts for admission purposes. And then if you would like to be considered for scholarships, we will need your ACT scores and your SAT scores as well. Uh, in order to be admitted to Missouri Southern, you have to meet one of the following requirements, either have a 21 on your ACT or a 2.25 GPA or be in the top half of your class. If you meet one of those requirements, nine chances out of 10, you'll be admitted to the university. So if at any time you have any questions, please contact me and let me know. There are a variety of opportunities and new things coming down the pipe here at Missouri Southern. Whether you're interested in criminal justice, biology, any of the health sciences, communications, EMS, paramedic, industrial engineering technology, over 140 program options for you. We'd love for you to become the next lion. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is from Labette Community College. All right, so good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Carly Swartz, the admissions recruiter and one of the general advisors for Labette Community College. Today, I have with me Brandy Irish, our CTE recruiter and advisor, and she will be helping me answer any questions you may have throughout the presentation. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, first, a few highlights about us. We are a two-year institution offering multiple associate's degrees, including health science programs and certificates as well. Our institution is also open enrollment, meaning no minimum ACT, SAT, or ACUPLACER scores are required. Additionally, our application process is free, meaning you do not have to pay a fee to apply to our institution. You just simply go to our website and under the admissions tab, click apply now to begin your application. We also offer small class sizes with a 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio, allowing you that one on one hands on learning experience. There is also a variety of class styles here at LCC, including on ground, online and hybrid. LCC is also one of the most affordable colleges in our area with tuition at $109 per credit hour for our in state students. Um, LCC also provides a friendly atmosphere, robust student life where you can get involved with on-campus activities, clubs and organizations, athletics, work study, and even volunteering. Um, so where are we located? Uh, LCC, Labette Community College, is housed in the far southeast corner of Kansas, very close to Pitt State, actually. Um, we have two campuses, our main campus located in Parsons, and our satellite campus, the Cherokee Center, which is actually located in Pittsburgh. LCC is also centrally located amongst the bigger cities in our area. We're about two hours from Wichita, Kansas City, Tulsa, and the Northwest Arkansas Metro. As mentioned earlier, our institution does offer an array of traditional degrees in health science programs. We have six health science programs, including nursing, respiratory therapy, physical therapist assistant, dental assistant, and sonography. Um, I will note some changes for the sonography program uh, later in this presentation. LCC also offers many traditional degrees as well, such as business administration, biology, education, criminal justice, history, communications, just to name a few. Um, additionally, we are also home to eight certificate programs, including business administrative tech, 
dental assistant, um, diagnostic medical sonography, electronics tech, graphic design, and welding. As we know, college is expensive. However, LCC offers multiple opportunities to help alleviate the financial burden. Our academic scholarship is based off high school GPA. So as long as you have at least a 3.0 GPA and are a senior in high school, you are eligible for the scholarship, which covers tuition up to 16 hours and offers money towards books. Our ambassador scholarship also covers tuition up to 16 hours and offers money towards books and gives you great opportunity to work with us up in admissions and learn leadership skills. Also, if you're a Labette County resident, you are eligible for tuition coverage through our institution. We also offer activity scholarships and those are distributed at the discretion of the coach or the instructor of that program. Um, also, as a reminder, our scholarship application did open October 1st. It is a one time application that puts you in for all of our scholarships and for more information about our scholarships, please visit labette.edu slash financial aid. LCC is a member of the NJCAA and Kansas Jayhawk Conference and is proudly represented by six athletic programs, men's and women's basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, and wrestling. Our main campus also offers on-campus housing at the Cardinal Villas. There are two bedroom and four bedroom apartment style living options, meaning you get your own bathroom and bedroom and have a shared living and kitchen space with your roommates. Each individual has their own lease that includes all utilities and Wi-Fi. That lease is also an independent lease, meaning if um, your roommate leaves, you don't accumulate the cost of their lease. lease. Um, the facilities are spacious, modern, and secure, and offer resident amenities, including laundry area, fitness center, social room, and a study area. I do have a few notable updates from LCC. Summer 2021 and fall 2020 enrollment does open this Thursday, April 1st. We are waiving our online and hybrid fees for the summer of 2021. Other fees will still apply. Um, we are no longer requiring placement test scores, meaning ACT, SAT, or Accuplacer. These will still be accepted for placement into courses, of course, but we are now able to use high school transcripts to determine placement if applicable. Sonography, this is where I talked about earlier, there's some changes coming. Sonography is going online and will be offered um, be offering two different 12 month certificates, one focused in OB abdomen and the other in vascular. And then our institutional scholarships and FAFSA opens October 1st of 2021 for the high school 2021-2022 senior class. Uh, for more information about us to schedule a campus visit or if you have questions in the future, please get in contact with us by texting hashtag LCC to 620-254-8938. We also have multiple virtual resources, virtual tours, and other information at labette.edu slash financial aid. Thank you. Thanks so much, Carly. And our next presenter will be from Allen Community College. Sorry, I'm trying to get this going here. Okay, my name is Nikki Peters. I'm the Director of Enrollment Management at Allen Community College in Iola. We have two campuses, one in Iola and one in Burlingame. We also have our online campus. Uh, we offer four degrees, an associate in arts, an associate in science, applied science, and general studies. Currently, we are offering 93 system-wide transfer courses um, where those, those will transfer anywhere you choose to go within the state. We offer academic support for free on our campus and online through our library system. We have tutoring available uh, for math and English primarily, but we do also offer it for other subjects as needed. 
and we offer our online writing lab where students can submit their work for evaluation and get an edited copy back with suggestions as to changes they should make. Um, I encourage that for any student, even if they're not necessarily struggling with their writing, just because it's going to get extra points in the class. We do offer financial aid, admissions, and advising on both of our campuses. And then in our online learning, we offer every course that we offer on campus, and you can complete the degree entirely online. In Iola, we have the fine and performing arts. Those are our theater, music, and art. Um, we do offer scholarships for each of those. So those scholarships would be tuition and book rental. Um, we're doing both in-person and virtual auditions, if that's something that interests you. We do also have athletics represented um, with the cross country, track, softball, baseball, basketball, and soccer. Um, and then we do also include athletic training in that. Um, so especially for our students that are interested in pursuing athletic training or physical therapy, um, there are scholarship opportunities there or internship opportunities. We're part of the Kansas Jayhawk Conference um, and the NJCAA as well. Our colors are red and black and we are the Red Devils. Kind of some fun facts. We have 100, 131 students from other states and countries currently in attendance with us. 88% um, of the students who attend our main campus in Iola receive some sort of financial aid. We do have six residence halls on campus in Iola. Our Burlingame campus is about 30 minutes south of Topeka or 15 minutes south of Auburn. Um, and we do offer, we, we've remodeled our science labs to bring those up to date and a little bit more um, active use within the classes. On campus in Iola is where you'll find our residence halls. Um, we have those that are on site and we also have those that are just across the street. We have everything from suite style where you'll have a bedroom uh, with two beds, a bathroom, and then another room connected on the other side with another bedroom with two beds. Um, so one shared bathroom between four students, or we have the apartment style living um, in our Masterson Hall, Herring Hall, or our duplexes. We do also offer a Ballard house that's located offsite um, that is a four bedroom house. Student life on campus in Iola, um, this is a picture of our new student center. We got that a couple years ago. Uh, it's amazing to me how many students love ping pong. Um, they host ping pong tournaments, they play bingo, they uh, will have speakers come in, um, lots of activities in the small town. Uh, our director of student life does a great job of trying to bring people in to, to keep things moving. Other activities that people could consider participating in are our student ambassador program where we do offer scholarships, the college quiz bowl, the collegiate farm bureau, livestock judging, um, newspaper. We do also offer Phi Theta Kappa at each of our campuses. Uh, this is a honor society for community college students that could potentially offer you an additional scholarship opportunity upon transfer to your next school, as well as an opportunity to participate in additional learning um, through a great organization. To become a student, Allen, the first thing we would encourage you to do is to apply online at our website. Um, assessment testing is available. However, we use high school transcript evaluation. So if you'd like to send that first, along with any ACT scores, we can mix and match those to determine where you'll start with your English, math, and science courses. If you're not quite to the college level and you wish to take the AccuPlacer, we will allow you to do so up to three times at no expense. We do encourage students to visit. We are hosting campus visits um, on both of our campuses. We do not offer a tour of the dorms presently, but we hope to open those this summer. We do encourage students to apply for housing. That application is now available. You'll have to have applied for admissions first, um, and then you can go in and complete that admission, the housing application and contract. That will secure you a room for the next semester. Uh, just like everyone else, we're going to encourage that if you're going to apply for the federal financial aid program, you get that FAFSA application completed at your earliest convenience. And then to enroll, you'll want to contact an advisor. We have advisors at both campuses, so whichever campus you wish to go to, you could utilize. We offer different academic scholarships based on having a GPA of 3.0 or higher, along with our activities in athletics, and our current tuition rate is $124 per credit hour, which includes textbook rental. We do not require students to purchase their textbooks, so that textbook rental saves you quite a significant amount of money. 
Uh, class schedule typically runs Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes run for approximately an hour, Tuesday, Thursday for an hour and a half. So most students choose to avoid that 8 a.m. time slot if they can. They'll take a 9, 10, and 11 o'clock Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and 9.30 and 11 o'clock Tuesday, Thursday. So they've taken five classes and they're done by lunchtime every day. We have several important dates coming up. Open enrollment will start April 12th. Our scholarship application priority deadline is April 1st for the fall. However, we're not limited on scholarships, so we'll still accept those applications. We encourage the housing application by May 1st. Um, and really, we have early enrollment days coming up on campus April 12th, 15th, and 21st. Please find us on the social media sites or use the QR codes to set up a visit or to apply. Thank you. Thanks so much, Nikki. Our next presenter is from Baker University. Well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Emma Carter, and I'm excited to be here and wrap up this um, exciting day learning about a couple different schools. So Baker University, we're just going to talk to you a little bit about um, some academics and outcomes, um, how we build community and how that's important to our student body, and of course the financial aid portion as well. So um, Baker University offers 30 majors, 40 minors, and unlimited options for our students. So because we are a really small school, and our students and professors have um, close relationships, you are able to kind of build a program around the things that are important to you. Um, we're a private institution in Kansas, which means that we are not um, committed to the same general education program that many of the other schools in the state have. We have adopted something called the Baker Core that is a little bit focused on um, creating skills or implementing skills into your education instead of going through a, a list of courses in order to achieve your general education or the thing that we're hoping every single student leaves with. The things that we're hoping you achieve through this Baker Core program are things like critical thinking, um, information literacy, communication, so both written and oral communication, are built into the program. This leaves a lot of opportunity for additional courses in things that you like. And I, I always appreciate when someone else mentions taking courses for fun, because we are all about taking courses for fun. Things that um, you as a student enjoy, we really encourage you to explore that because in all likelihood, you're going to have hobbies as an adult. And we want you to kind of have um, some academic foundation for the things that, that you enjoy doing. Another thing in our academic program that kind of sets Baker apart is our inner term. And this inner term is a really fun time that occurs between the semesters. So between the fall and the spring semester in January, for three weeks, you have the opportunity to take a course that isn't necessarily um, the thing that our professors are teaching all the time. So one of our psychology um, instructors really likes cheese. So two years ago, she taught an interterm course on cheese. And that sounds a little bit, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but it sounds a little bit cheesy. Um, but a part of what the students learned out of that was chemistry. So there's a lot of chemistry that goes into um, cheese. They learned about the timing of different things. They learned about culture. And so why are there so many different kinds of cheese and where do those things come from, right? So a lot of different um, aspects wrapped up into one class that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with cheese, but um, you do get academic credit for taking and you get a kind of different view of your instructors. There are also lots of travel interterm courses. So we really encourage our students to experience academics on our campus, but also to experience learning outside of a classroom. So one of the things that we really encourage is for our students to either study abroad or to do one of these travel interterms. 
And what you get out of that, it's specifically with the, the inner term instead of the semester long um, travel experience is that an instructor goes with you on the trip. And so it's a little bit more guided than just um, going off on your own and having to figure out what it is that you're going to do all day, every day. The last thing that I wanna talk about um, specifically related to what sets Baker apart as far as academics is our PAR Mentors program. Um, Baker University is the first university in the state of Kansas. Don't know how, how many of you knew that, but the building here in this picture is called PAR Mentor Hall. Um, Abraham Lincoln actually donated to um, the building of this building, building of this building. And it's kind of our, um, foundational kind of cornerstone building on campus. So when we created this PAR Mentors program, um, we use that little play on words. The program is an opportunity for our alumni and our current students to work together in a mentorship. So it's a networking and mentor program. Uh, the students who apply to this are paired with someone who um, has a career in the area that the student is interested. So if you're interested in pre-med, then you would be paired with someone who is a medical doctor. And ideally, either they are from the area where you're planning to go, or they're a doctor specializing in the area where you plan to practice. So we do a really good job of pairing those students up and, um, and creating those mentor relationships. Um, so what does that mean? Um, kind of the things that set us apart, obviously you're gonna spend time in class and you're gonna learn things and you're gonna have to take tests. Like those things are kind of standard across the board, but what does it mean when you have several things that kind of set Baker apart? Um, it means that the outcomes that our students experience are pretty awesome. So top ranked private university in the state, um, Baker grads earn higher average salaries than any grads from Baker or from Kansas institutions. This is 10 years after graduation, and this is a pretty consistent um, statistic. We have a small um, student to faculty ratio, and so 13 students per faculty member um, really does encourage that, um, that relationship. For medical school and, and any, honestly, acceptance rates, they're consistently above national averages. So medical school, vet school, dental school, um, law school, any of these, right? Like we're, we're not gonna belabor the point. A part of what happens also is occurring outside of the classroom. And so building the community and really helping you build your network. So part of that for Baker occurs through clubs and organizations. Um, the average Baker student is involved in over seven activities by the time they graduate. And that would be clubs, that would be organizations, that could be your Greek facility, that could be um, your sport. So lots of different ways for students to both receive leadership and also just to be a part of a team or, or an organization and, and again, build your community. We are a residential campus, and so all of our students live on campus, either in our residence halls, which there are a variety of options, um, which you've heard a lot about, suite style, um, expanded suite style, apartment style, and also Greek facilities. So we, we have fraternities and sororities for students to live in. Things that we really care about. How do I get in and how do I pay for this experience, right? So... Um, Baker offers both test optional admission and what we call traditional admission, where you would apply with your transcript and an ACT or SAT score. We use those, um, G your GPA and your test score to determine what is called your merit-based scholarship, which are the ones that are listed here. Um, if you are interested in athletics at Baker, your athletic award is the sort of total amount that you receive. If you're interested in doing the academic route, um, then you can stack scholarships. So you see here, art, music, um, creative writing, theater, all of these different areas that you might have an interest in, we can um, offer you scholarships. Emma, I'm sorry we to interrupt. 
but you've exceeded your allotted time. Okay. Yeah. We'll carry on with the the presentation. Um, but I did want to to use just the last couple of, of minutes. Um, if everybody, um, if all the presenters wanted to share uh, with the audience um, just one quick bit of advice to get through the, the college search process. And we'll, um, you have about 30 seconds each, so um, it'll be pretty short, but um, we'll go in the same order. So the University of Missouri, you can go first. Awesome, thanks. Yeah, this is a question we get a lot. And I would definitely say, uh, make it personalized. Um, your college list should be different uh, from your friend to your left, to your friend to your right, uh, because it's gonna be unique to what your uh, desires are. So definitely make it as personalized as possible um, and really do some soul searching before you start the college search process on what is going to be really important to you when you kind of think about the next four or five years of the college going process. Awesome, thank you, Aaron. And Pittsburgh State, I would say, um, again, piggybacking on Mizzou's of your experience need to be, needs to be individualized and it should fit your needs and your interests. But one of the biggest things that students overlook is the necessity and the value of visiting campus, taking that tour and actually taking all of that in and absorbing that experience. So uh, that would be one thing that I would highly recommend. Thank you. Missouri Southern State University? I would recommend, I always recommend to students that they pick their top to top three to five schools and go visit. And as cheesy as it sounds, pick the school that you feel home at because if you feel like you belong there, you're gonna to wanna to stay. Great advice, thanks. Labette Community College. Um, kind of just as they said, uh, visit, tour, and communicate. You know, talk with us. That's what we're here for. Ask us all the questions. Um, there's never a dumb question, you know. So if you have a question about anything, a lot of us have experienced college, been through college. So ask those questions. Find your home. Find what you like. Um, even if it's as small as something you don't like about a dorm somewhere or do like, you know. Uh, use all those really small factors to um, choose where you want to continue your education. Because like she said, if you enjoy it, you're gonna wanna stay. Um, so yeah. Great, thank you so much. And Allen Community College, Nikki. So two quick things. Um, first of all, I would say, don't put off making those decisions in terms of uh, the things that you can do. Get your FAFSA application done. You can send it to multiple schools. Um, some of the schools have free admissions, so you can do that application and it still doesn't commit you to attending the school. The other part I would say that I see a lot with our students, I don't want anybody stressing if you're not quite sure what major you're going to go into. Chances are that's going to change anyway. And just starting out in college, your focus is going to be your general education requirements. So don't let that be the deciding factor that stops you from going to school or stresses you. Thanks so much. and. Our last word back to Emma from Baker University. Thanks. I think that all of those things, and additionally, I would make a list of your priorities and be willing to change your mind. Good advice. Thank you so much to all of you. And um, thank you to all of the students, parents, counselors, everyone for joining us today. Um, just a couple of things. When you close your window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. And we really appreciate any feedback that you can provide us there. Also, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is just one of many sessions that are being hosted as part of this college fair series over the next couple of days. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as recordings of any sessions you might have missed at strivescan.com slash Kansas. So thank you again so much to our panelists for sharing so much about your uh, colleges and universities. Uh, it's great to learn from you and wish you all a very happy day. Thanks so much.